Water service has been fully restored to Troy residents a day after a massive water main break sent millions of gallons of water rushing through city streets. Dan Levy joins us live from the epicenter of the environmental nightmare in Lansingburg, where headaches and hardship for many people linger. Good evening, Dan. Good evening to you, Rachel. Hey, you know what it's like. You were standing here last night. You understand the size and scope of this dilemma. We know that tonight this underground sewer still needs to be repaired. We also know that the above ground roads are also in need of repair. And until all of those repairs take place, this massive hole is going to stay right here. This is unbelievable. If you were living in or driving through Lansingburg Monday afternoon near 124th Street and 6th Avenue, this is what you would have seen coming at you. It's what Juan Rosado saw rushing through his garage and basement. So I was trying to go to my rear entrance, and I couldn't even open the door. That's how much water was hitting my house, and the main blue, and it was all directed towards the left side of my home. Um, I was like, okay, probably not a good idea to open the door, because I'm going to have all that water running through my house. I'm never going to be able to shut the door. Juan's property damage was significant. His landscaping ruined. His Corvette totaled. But his optimism, well, time will tell. Normalcy, I don't probably see it until next year. For other residents, the impact wasn't as great. And when the city knocked on the door, told me to um, come move my car, we have a water main break, kind of saw a, a river going down the street. It was just like shock and kind of seeing everything going on. Could have been much worse. There was also property damage sustained on at least a half dozen private homes in the neighborhood. Yes, the 30-inch cast iron water main was fixed, but sewer repairs and rebuilding roads are still pending. The city will foot the bill for the infrastructure repair. Any damage to a private home would be the onus of the homeowner or their insurance company. It's no one's fault. Obviously, it's aging infrastructure. I really feel for Juan, and uh, he really sustained the most damage here. Should we assume that what happened here is likely to reoccur someplace else? Well, I wouldn't say likely, but it definitely is more likely than unlikely. Um, you know, you never know with aging infrastructure. You know what? Sometimes on two-dimensional TV, you can't see the size of the slope or the amount of the upheaval of the road. Maybe this will demonstrate what this 124th Street looks like. Try to roll it smoothly. Not a chance. It's all over the place. Again, there's no timetable on when this road will be dug up and repaired, but again, they have to take care of that sewer first. And then you've got the homeowners who have to worry about their own property. We're live in Troy with coverage you can trust. Dan Levy, News Channel 13. Rachel, back to you. It is such a mess. Dan, thank you so much.